Also, I was sent this. Topped on the TB8000 battery charger. Yeah, voltage monitor. Pretty impressed, right? Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you for being part of it. I truly appreciate it. And I want to thank everybody who subscribed. We're over 10,000 subscribers deep in this community. And also, we hit 1 million views. Thanks so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. And I try to answer as much as I can. There's a lot more comments than there used to be. So if you notice me hitting a heart, you know, and then sometimes answering it becomes a lot. Okay, today's going to be an odd video. Uh, you're not really going to see a whole lot. It's going to be a shorter video, but I was trying to catch you up on what was going on. Uh, last week, we picked up the 67. There was a couple videos on that, and I... I don't even have the 68 done, and I got a 67 sitting here already, and that's okay. I'm really excited about the both of them. Uh, we're going to step up the beat now on the 68 because I'll show you what got done, and this really motivated me. Now, we have the underneath of the car done, and here, I'll show you that in a minute. Let me show you what went on and what's going to go on, and it'll all make sense. So sit back, get something to drink. Let's get into it. All right, so let's go over everything that got done. There's the crap part. <laughs> Everything's... I give that to the scrap guy. I got a bunch of metal laying around, so... Okay, and let's peek in here. Ignore the mess. I've got a fender laying in there, and I'll show you why. Okay, so... That is done, because it was like that before. Okay, so that's done. It needs ground down, but it's all welded up. Okay, okay, that is all done and all welded up. A buddy of mine did that. I do got to fix these couple little holes. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. But I didn't buy the whole complete panel. I just didn't feel the need to cut out all the bad and put in new so that's all done but it needs ground out now if you can remember let me see if i can find some photos or footage as you know we got to do the rear quarters i have the new sections for that was really bad back there. Justin came along, who owned a collision shop, and said, let's fix it. So he went ahead, cut all the bad crap off, and look at this. That is all done. I got to do a little grinding. He put all new pieces in. Look at that, how beautiful. Because this 68, besides this little bit of crap, it's a really solid car. So, and we got the floors done, so that's out of the way. And this side is done. He did a tremendous job. I mean, his work is unbelievable. I, I got to do a little bit of uh, cleanup work. But I told him not to worry about it because he was here all day. And I said, let me do that. I'll, I'll get the grinder out and clean it up. You know, there was no point in him sitting here any longer, you know, and I don't think I could have ever got it like that, but it gave me some oomph. Put new shelves in, that's what I call them, on both sides. There was some rot there that he cut out completely, and over there, so that's all done back there. And we went ahead and we got, put the rear apron on to make sure everything lined up and put the fenders on to mock everything up. 
I didn't think to get a picture doing that. But let me pause a minute here. And we'll go over a few things. I snapped random photos. I am so delighted. It come out so nice. Uh, and he was here all day. We had to keep mocking it up, make sure everything was even. I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't want to be a pest and aggravate him with talking or anything. He was busy. He was taking his job serious. So I didn't want to aggravate him. So I did what I could do to show you guys what was going on. Uh, I am so happy with this. So what I'm going to do is I undercoated. We did the firewall. I said undercoat. I meant rust bullet. We did the firewall and the frame head. Did you want to see it? I don't know if maybe some of you are new and missed some of the videos. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'll show you in just in a minute. Here, come over here. Okay, as you can all see, the firewall and the frame head has the rust bullet on it. Really happy with it. That's two coats. Uh, they advise that you do use two coats, so got that done. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but the underneath has its rust bullet on. So that's all done. It may not look it, but it is. It's stupid lighting with camera angles, but that's done. The front trying to get the camera up there. The front of the frame head's done. Now I'm going to run a chase through the threads. So I'll run a tap through and clean them all up before we mount the beam because we're going to be doing that soon. And we still have to do the front inner well, of course, on both sides. I get to smooth that patch up. But so frame head, firewall, I'm going from the front down to the back. So that should make sense the way I did it. So now we got to do the crappy part back here. So no big deal. The underneath of the luggage rack, luggage compartment, I should say. We got to clean this area all up, rust bullet it. Then we're going to grind and smooth all the welds here. And we're going to rust bullet all that. Even though it won't be used in the winter. It don't matter. To me, it'll still protect. Now, I have to do this side. This side here actually is pretty nice, for except inside. That'll need done there, so not a big deal. We did the other side. My buddy did the welding. He tacked it for me. So I just got to do that, and I believe that's the worst of it. So we're going to go ahead and jump on this. I wanted to give you an update, as promised and show you what was going on and I'll go ahead and film while I'm cleaning up under there I'll try to get a good camera angle on it and go ahead and film cleaning it all up using a rust bullet and uh, you know 
start getting some lead way done here. I'm really happy because that was probably the worst part because now we're going to start rocking and rolling and moving along much, much quicker. So and that's a good thing. I don't want to rush too much, but I'll try to do separate videos and I'll explain that in a second. And here. also, I almost forgot, I got two different rear aprons. One was given to me with the car, which is that one with the cutouts for the exhaust. And then another one was given to me by a friend where there was no exhaust cutouts. I'm probably going to run this exhaust here. Unless somebody else tells me, you know, hey, those aren't that good. They're a piece of crap. They don't breathe well. Because if you recall, we're putting a stroker motor in. So I got to figure out what exhaust I want to run because I want it to breathe properly. Also, I was sent this. Topped on the TB8000 battery charger. Yeah, voltage monitor. Pretty impressed, right? Anyhow. I'm going to do a separate video on this. It won't be a regular weekly video. It'll just be an extra one I'll throw in because I told them I would show it for them. I believe they might give a promo code for this if somebody does want one. But I didn't even open it yet, so I'll wait and do that. I have a dead battery sitting here, so that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll try it on that and hopefully have some good feedback on it for them. All right, so I know this was an odd video this week. Uh... Most of my videos are all DIY, and then some of my videos is just who's ever here in the community following me along, you know what I mean? And seeing the progress that the 68 is making. Uh, I went ahead and ordered a couple more things, because as soon as I get that sprayed in the back and painted, you know, the rust bullet, I want to do the rest of the sound deadener on the inside, and I always use that rolled roofing. Got some more wall art, you know. <laughs> Here's a question I have. I have a rear deck lid. I'm going to make wall art out of it. I'm going to turn it into a clock. And I'm going to paint it first. And then I'm going to build a clock into it for wall art in the garage. Or if somebody would, you know, do that for, uh, I can't say an office at work. That'd be awkward, you know. If you want, that'll be an extra video. If you just want me to show making the clock out of the deck lid and everything, I'll do it. I, I love filming. So if you guys and gals want to see that, let me know and I'll do a boring film on it. <laughs> but it'll be kind of cool to see it because I am going to hang it in the garage. I still got to finish my wood walls. I've been really busy. So let me know. I guess a lot of questions and answers in this video is what it was, but I at least wanted to keep you up to date on what was going on the 67 kept me busy running around for a little bit, you know, acquiring it, going over it. So I hope everybody enjoyed those videos. The 67 is Heather's baby. So whatever she wants, I'm going to have to do to that car. Hopefully it's nothing weird. But uh, with Heather, it could turn into a dark, gloomy, radical beast. <laughs> so we'll see what we're going to do. I may get her started on that while I'm on this and she can do some of the filming. Uh, I thank everybody for being here. Thank you again for the views. Thank you again for all the subscribers. I don't like to really say subscribers or followers. I like to say community members because that's what we are. And I'll see you next time.